Hello YouTube, this is Elsworth Day 101 and I'm going to show you a cool theme I made in Artist Year. It's actually still a work in progress, but it just kind of gives you an idea of what you can do in Artist Year. This is a theme I'm working on for a website I'm making for a company called Life Drivers Training. Um, as you can see, I, I just have like a menu. It doesn't have buttons. It's uh, just kind of like a classic tabs in the uh, fonts change depending on if it's clicked. Uh, highlighted or not active. Then I have a long banner with a gradient underneath it. Then I have just regular uh, menu bars uh, with gradients. I customized uh, the gradients so, so they look uh, kind of unique. And then I just uh, changed some fonts. I used a font called like Pumpus or something. And then I used a gradient up there for my header. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of the, how powerful Artist Year is, and I think more people should use it. It's a really easy way to create themes for websites uh, because you can do a lot with it, and it's only $100 to buy the software. You can see you could change all this stuff. I'll just show you a few things you could change real quick. I have another video on it already. We can change uh, colors and fonts, the layout of like the uh, page. And columns. You can also change the background. Image or textures are things that you can make uh, that are fixed also so it kind of stays in the same spot uh, while a page is scrolling up and down. A uh, gradient is what I have here but you can also have a glare like say a company logo right here and then uh, uh, you can't f uh, lock in glares which means that when you scroll up and down the glare scrolls with the rest of the page. Um, you can also adjust things in the sheet, like I'll show you all things you can adjust. Right there you can adjust the width, which is how wide it is. You can adjust the offset, which is how this space right here. You can adjust padding, which is that right there. The radius, which is that. My radius is at zero, which means it's a square. My border width, which is also right there. And my transparency, which is set to zero. You can also change the header, which mine is set to an image, which is a thousand by uh, one hundred. You could, uh, it comes with effects like a glare you could put over the image. Like, watch, I'll click on this abstract glare right here. And now you can see that there's a glare on the image. I'll turn that off though. I don't like that. Some people like it. Some people don't. Change the menu which is this right here. There's a lot of cool things you could change like these are the preset menus right here. You change articles, all these things right here. Blocks, such as a styling. And you can even customize the buttons which are used throughout the website and the footer. And the footer, uh, this program also creates a ton of uh, different regions where you put blocks at. Like there's literally at least 20 regions to put blocks at like you can put them here, here, there's a bunch of different spots here, banners all over. So you can really define where you want the objects of your website at. And you can, there's even a block that's defined in this region so you can actually customize what that, uh, what it actually says in the footer right there because it comes like this but these are just for show and they don't actually do anything until you put a block there. So uh, I just wanted to kind of show that quick demo of Artist Ear and let me know what you think about this theme reel right here real quick so thank you for watching my video and please subscribe